First up, we'll need to prep our Raspberry Pi. Open Terminal, it'll be our command center for today's mission. To make sure everything's fresh and secure, we'll do a quick system update. Next, we'll install Docker. Docker is like a magic box that keeps all of our software neat and portable. We'll install it with this handy curl script. Now, let's make life easier with the following user mod command so we no longer have to type in sudo every time we use Docker. Type in new grp docker, then docker dash dash version, and boom, if you see a version number, you're doing good. Now, let's bring Olama. It's the system that will run our AI models locally. We already set Olama up on the Pi in last week's video, but we need to tweak it so other devices like my laptop and phone can connect. We'll edit the Olama service file by adding Olama host to the environment variable. Save it and then reload and restart the service. To make sure it's working, we'll ping it with a quick curl command and if it says Alum is running, we're on track. Now we can add a high-tech user interface with Open Web UI. It's basically an open source version of closed AI, I mean OpenAI ChatGPT. We'll use Docker to locally host Open Web UI on the Raspberry Pi as it keeps things simple and tidy. Make a directory for Open Web UI, hop into it, and create a Docker Compose file using Nano. Paste in the following code and save. Before we launch it, we need Docker Compose installed. Run these commands followed by Docker Compose up D to launch Open Web UI. While it's composing, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss a future episode. Once Docker is finished, type in Docker PS. You should see Open Web UI listed, which means it's running and just about ready to rock and roll. To let other devices connect into our server, we'll need to tweak the firewall using UFW to open up the port for Open Web UI. Think of it as opening the window to your house, but not the front door. Install UFW and then open up port 3000 for Open Web UI and port 11434 for Olama. Enable it and check the status. Before connecting, 